So motor's ready to pull in. So we are gonna need the 2ZZ uh, bracket for the throttle cable. Um, um, the 1ZZ is not gonna work. So just loosen up these nuts right here. And it should be able to slide off. So same thing, we're gonna take off these two nuts, slide it off. We do have to take off this bolt right here and put it going this way that way it loops around and it does it from this side because the gts is different the 2zz um like i said the throttle is different so it has to come through this side so there it is okay. now it's going this way i actually put this little clip that used to belong right here that way it has a little holder and the cable is over here ready to go in um and that's it putting everything aside motor is about to go in right now uh, so let's move some of this stuff out of the way already because motor is going in This motor mount's already oh. in. Mark is tying the one in the side over there. The actual motor mount, this is a tranny mount. Now that Too all that is left is this one right here, but we gotta put the crash bar and then crash the one bar. in the back. Yeah, the crash subframe. bar or subframe, whatever. Same crash bar. So that one's missing, and then the one in the back over there, or actually the front. This is actually the back. Uh, depending on how you look at it. Um, we just gotta tighten this one up real quick and, and then tighten that one because that one's not even tight either. And then we'll work ourselves with this one and then probably do the back. So we're putting everything back together. Last night we were able to put everything in the back, which is the compressor, the AC compressor, the fuel line, uh, the throttle cable right there that you see. Now it goes this way right there um starter cable um uh, what else did i do in the back i did the slave cylinder the rear mount all that's left right now is this front uh or actually that was the front mount this is the rear mount um and that's it all we have to do is connect a bunch of hoses header crash bar subframe uh, the whole assembly over here, um, and tires and bumper, tail lights. So we're gonna try to finish it up today. <clears throat> and hopefully the hardest part now is actually messing up, messing with the wire harness, which we have to unpin, move some stuff around. I'll try to walk, walk it through you guys, but it's gonna be hard to actually put everything down. Um, and the MRS <clears throat> forums are not that very helpful. So I'll sh probably link which one I'm using and which one works. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. Mark should be here anytime soon to give me a hand, but I really don't need to. Um, the hardest part is already done. So yeah, um, we had shifting issues yesterday. We fixed it. So I do have to put this end cap in the back over there again um, and bolt this up because yesterday we were just messing around with it and I see there's one bolt missing, which um, should be down here. So the belt didn't work for the 1ZZ, the 2ZZ is 
way too a lot, long. way too long. So we ended up getting this one, which is a 1725. If you get a 1720, that's perfect. Um, the one that we'll, one ZC has is a 1690. So we're adding 35 millimeters. About an inch and a quarter. Yeah. So hopefully it works. People say the 25 works also. But we'll find out right now. So belt is on. It actually worked. Well, we think it worked. Find, find out, out when we turn it up. when we turn it on. If not, we're gonna go 10 millimeters smaller, which uh 1715. Yeah, because they don't have 1720. So smaller should be a little bit better. Um so now let's do the cross the oh, cross the, member. The, um the the, 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 the subframe yeah the subframe um try to do that but ain't gonna do it by myself i gotta go bye <laughs> so everything's assembled on this side axle and then the calipers and the ABS sensor. Only thing that's left is the sway bar link. Um, now, sway bar and sway bar and link. Yeah. Now we're working on the header and then put the exhaust <clears throat> and put everything back together. Where's all the header bolts that I don't need? I don't need. I don't need. I don't need. Oh, uh, those? I it took off the ones. The heat shield that I don't need. Those are the ones I throw away. Those are right there. The other ones, um, I don't know. <laughs> so we're missing two studs. Two You're the one that took them off. Motherfucker, really? Well, those are on the Celica. Yeah, I didn't do the fucking Celica header. And I left them on top of the Celica. Oh, no, it's the top of that. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. Um, I also have to put in the clips for the shift shifting cables. They're not in right now. So gotta do that and get the header bolts. So ice cream shop is good business car is almost done we were able to put an intake from my car right now i'm just test fitting it um just so we could turn it on um because he ended up getting me a 1zz intake off a of matrix or corolla i don't know what it is but uh but it's also a 1zz so the diameter is wow. a lot smaller uh mark is actually doing the last touches on the heat shields um <laughs> And then from there, the only thing that's left is putting on the battery. All the vacuum hoses are on. Um, and doing a wire harness after this, that's what I'm gonna work on and see if we get this car up and running. Um, we also do need gear oil. You need gear oil, sure like that. Yeah. Um, probably not gonna finish this bumper and the tail lights right now because I'm gonna start working on getting that car up and running right now. If it turns on, then I'll put everything back together. If not, then I still have room to mess around here and fix the issue that we have if we have one. So, hoping for the best. What if it does this? That's on you. Like, oh no. So now we get to the hard part or the complicated part, the part that a lot of people don't want to do is the wire harness. Um, if you go up here, plug, the top one is plug B. It's hard to see. I know lighting sucks up in this dash cam or in this cab. So that's B, that's A, that's the second plug down. Then you got C down here and then D. So I already labeled it um, right here. That's my B, the black one. This right here is, I think my 
A. It's getting faded. So that's my A. Then over here, that's my D right here, this white one. And then that's my C right here, the black one. And same thing I did over here. I labeled it. Oh, this is a 2ZZ, B, A, C, and D. Um, so now what I gotta do is go off this diagram that I'm gonna post up right now. Um, this right here is my um, OCV. And this is the pressure for that sensor also. So these three new wires need to be pinned in here and there's one that has to be moved and they got to be moved around from pins to pins um what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna get some masking tape and actual label all the ones i do take off here there's a lot of them that need to be taken off i'm gonna mark them and actually just in case i do mess up i could go backwards and retrace my steps which hopefully i don't have i hopefully i don't have to do that but yeah i'm gonna try to record as much as i can but it's kind of tight squeeze so and not enough lighting so it's gonna be hard So there it is, wires already done. There were some wires that I felt like I needed to extend, so that's what I did. Um, I'm probably gonna put the ECU right here um, and figure out how I secure it. That way it doesn't move around. Um, stock ECU is still there. Um, so just in case, whenever he does want to smog it or needs to stock ECU, it's here. Um, but well, that's about it. Um, basically, you have to take some pins, move them somewhere else. Like this pin went over here. Um, and then these, this one was added. This one was added. This one was added. Three were added. About four or five had to be moved off. There's a couple of them that had to be removed. Um, like the O2 sensor that it's extra, you know, stuff that the Celica doesn't have, um, like speed sensor that goes, yeah, that goes into a different one, so that has to be moved. So, stuff like that. Um, this one's weird. This one's runs off the ABS as far as speed. On our cars, it has it on the transmissions. So, yeah, let me put everything back together, secure the ECU, and finish off in the back so there it is nice and secure put some double-sided tape but i would recommend buying some velcro put it on there that way just in case you do have to take it off velcro it off um plugs are right here so the cover is gonna sit over it so it should be good but Wire is already tucked over here. Know how to put everything back together.